Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Java FX 101. In this episode, we're going to learn how to display images in Java FX. Uh, at this point, we have gone through all of the major components, so we're going to start going over some of the helping components that uh, you know do specialized tasks. You won't need them all the time, but when you do need them, there really isn't any alternative, and it's really good to know this. So I'm going to show you how you can display an image inside of your GUI. Now if you are coming from Swing or if you've used Swing before, you'll know that the JLabel class handles both text and images. I don't know who came up with that idea, but it's very confusing. JavaFX fixes this and it has a separate class. So we have the text class here which represents a excuse me, it represents a text uh, label and we have a separate class called image view that represents an image so you don't need to worry about one class that controls two unrelated things so let's go down right here to the bottom where we have a little bit of room and we're gonna go ahead and do it uh, the class we're gonna be using is called image view and we'll call it image it's equal to new image view and when we import this, make sure we use javafx.scene.image.image view. And we now have image view imported. Um, next step is this does have a default constructor, um, but right now it's not going to do anything. There's no image for it to display. So there is a constructor for image view that takes in the image. And this is going to use the image class. And we will make sure that we're importing javafx.scene.image.image. And the uh, image view class will take in this image and it will display this image. Now, image does not have a default constructor. It does, however, have all of these nice constructors here. So the easiest way to do this is I have in my SRC folder, I have my package that then contains this main file. Uh, I also have a res folder or package that contains my avatar. This is just the avatar that I use for my channel right now. So I have this package and I have this res or resources package which then has the avatar in it. So I have my image embedded right into the program. I do have a video on embedded resources if this confuses you at all so just check out my video on embedded resources. This is confusing. So to access it we want to say get class Dot get resource. We're going to use get resource as stream because there is a constructor that takes an input stream and it works very well. For the name, we're going to write slash res. You need that slash in front of it or else it's not going to work. Slash res slash avatar dot png. And that is all that it takes to create an image view. It will then display this image, and for this image, it will load in the avatar.png resource and use that image. Let's just quickly make sure that this does, in fact, work. All right, let's run our program. And you'll see that with all the other stuff that we have, we now have the image. The only problem is the image does look a little too big. We could resize the file manually, but we could also do it inside of the code. And that can be helpful because if I want to use multiple sizes of this image, if I want a small one here and a big one on another page, it's easier to have one file and resize it using code than to have two different files. So in order to resize an image has a constructor that does this for us. The constructor will then take in two doubles, I believe. Uh, that would be, well, let's just say 100 by 100. This is a square, so uh, 100 width, 100 height. Now, we're getting an error because this isn't the full constructor. In order to use these two parameters, we need two more Booleans, and these two Booleans denote um, keeping the scale and smoothening. So do we want to keep the scale? We'll just say true, and we are 100 to 100. It used to be 500 to 500. So we'll say true. We want to maintain the scale that we had before. And do we want to smooth it? We'll say true. That means that since we're making the picture smaller, we can you know, kind of smooth it out a little bit. And if you quickly take a look, you'll see here that it takes the input stream, the requested width, the requested height, 
preserve ratio, whether it should preserve the ratio or not, and then whether or not it should be smooth. So those are the exact things we gave it. We gave it the image, the width, and the height as integers, but you can also give doubles. We do want it to preserve the scale, and we do want it to smooth out. And if I go ahead and click Run, you'll see that the same image is now displayed, but it is five times smaller. It's 100 by 100 instead of 500 by 500. So if you are not interested in resizing the image, then you don't need to worry about these other four parameters. Uh, but if you are interested, then that is just the easiest way to do it, at least, you know, through code. And I'll just write ignore the other four parameters if you do not want to resize the image. So uh, when I post this, you will know parameters. There we go. So you'll know that you can just ignore these other four parameters if you do not want to resize the image. So that's all for this video. That is how to make an image display in JavaFX, and that's also how to programmatically resize the image or resize the image through code instead of you know the manual file and then you know having a resized version of the file so as always subscribe if you want to see more comment with what you want to learn if you like this video click the like button and i'll see you guys soon with some more coding videos bye for now